Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to go over just some basics in terms of writing the sales letter. And what you see here is that there is a Google search. And the Google search that was done was for David Fry, 12-step sales letter. And you can find any one of these entries. This sales letter formula was probably written back in the 2000s. And so you can actually look to any of these places to get David Fry's 12-step sales letter. So what you're going to see is that you are going to see that uh, David Fry has a list of things that he is suggesting that you do. And these are going to be the 12 points that you're going to follow in just about any sales letter. So if you look at this outline, this is going to help you to be able to take your concept and then turn it into a sales letter. And so the other thing that you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to go to a site like JVZoo and you're going to be able to go and find out how you can then look to JVZoo and reverse engineer a sales letter. So let's do that right now. Now what I'm going to do when I get inside of JVZoo is that I am going to start looking for a product that is going to be as close to the one that I want to launch as possible whether or not it's going to be the actual the actual product itself or whether or not it's going to be one that is going to be in the same category for instance if you are launching a webinar software then you want to find another webinar software that's going to be similar to yours and what you're going to do is just take a look at some of the top selling products when you do that you're going to go inside here and for instance let's go inside this one and then we're going to take a look and then we're going to look at the sales page when we get to the sales page we're going to actually see I'm going to stop this from playing right now and <clears throat> we're going to take a look at how we can actually look to replicate a sales editor that's like this and then combine elements of copy from David, Sa David Fry's 12-step uh, sales letter. So one of the first things we're going to do is we are going to go and we're going to take a look to see how they actually created the sales letter. And this is always, you always want to do this. You always want to take a look to find out you know, what kind of software was used to create it. Uh, sometimes you might even have the same software. So we're going to take a look. We're going to see here and it looks as if this was not a WordPress theme this is going to be some kind of software that was actually done uh, created from HTML which is fine but we can actually replicate this in another way what we're really concerned with right now is we're gonna be concerned with a copy we see that there, there's a headline we see that there's a video and then we see that there are some strips and test blocks but what we want to follow is what's happening in the actual copy and what is convincing to other people and even sometimes some of the placement of the images and we can actually do some of the same placement you'll notice that a lot of this is going to be screenshots some of it is going to be images some of these are going to be images that are, that were picked up from other places and these are all things that you're going to be able to do right some of these were taken from uh, some some actual uh, some some actual screenshots that were done with the actual product so once again these are the three things you're going to need to do number one you're gonna make sure to pick up David Fry's 12-step bullproof sales letter number two you're gonna go inside of JVZoo and you're gonna take a look to find out what some of the other sales letters are like what they're laid out what their layout is and number three you are going to take a look to find out what they were actually created in okay and then that will give you a head start in terms of creating your own sales letter with your own sales builder software now if you don't have sales builder software often you can do this if you know some HTML or you can actually have your sales letter outsourced but the purpose of looking at this is to know what goes into the copy first of all and second of all then what you're going to do in terms of the layout of your site and once you've done that then you will have a good sense for what will work well for your product okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video